Here's a tool that you have got to know about. Here's what happens. You go to do a brake job on a vehicle, and when you get to the end of that brake job, you can do everything by yourself except for the bleeding part. Because what happens is, the typical scenario, you top off the master cylinder, somebody sits in the cab, pumps on the brake pedal, somebody else is under the vehicle, opening and closing the bleeder valves. So here's a solution to that problem. Pretty low tech, but very, very handy. What we need to do is create some kind of a vacuum at the bleeder that would let us just draw fluid through the system instead of pushing it through the system using the brake pedal. So here's one solution to that. What I can do is hook this using a hose up to the bleeder. As I pump this manually here, I'm creating a vacuum. As I create a vacuum, that's also then created inside here. That pulls fluid in. The idea is exactly the same. I can see into this cylinder. So as I'm watching in here, I'm watching for the part where I start to get fluid only, no air bubbles. That's going to tell me I'm OK. So this is going to do it for you. This is a manual system. This one's a little bit higher tech. This one requires compressed air. It's got a couple aspects to it. I hook it up to air. As I squeeze this, my high pressure air shoots across the top of this chamber. That creates a vacuum, which is then going to draw through this line, which is, like the other one, connected up to my bleeder valve. Now, the purpose of this thing is that we want to make sure we don't run the system dry. So I can take this, fill it full of brake fluid, various adapters available for it, invert it on the reservoir, turn it open. This is going to make sure that my fluid stays ahead of the fluid that's in the reservoir so that I don't accidentally drain the whole system dry. It's great to know about this stuff for a couple reasons. One, of course, if you do the brake job, then you know you got to get in there and bleed the system. Now, additionally, let's say you pick up a used vehicle. You don't know anything about the life of the brake fluid that's in there. It's a good idea to swap it all for new. Brake fluid is capable of just grabbing ambient humidity out of the air and pulling that moisture right into the brake system. So if you don't know what you got, your best bet is to start from scratch. These tools are going to make it a lot easier to do because instead of shagging down a buddy, finding them, having them pump that brake pedal for you, you're going to be able to do everything yourself. This is a great set of tools that you got to know about.